Hallo Leute, Takeo hier. Weiter geht es mit Red Dead Redemption 2. Das letzte Mal hatten wir eine wirklich äh, sehr, sehr heftige moralische Folge. Und jetzt sind wir hier in Saint-Denis und müssen jetzt uns noch eigentlich mit den Konsequenzen davon rumschlagen. Am Ende hatten wir immerhin noch ein bisschen der Kirche ausgeholfen, Bruder Dawkins und allen. Ähm, aber aktuell ist hier in der Stadt nicht viel los. Von dem her würde ich vielleicht mal wieder zurück ins Lager reiten, schauen, was der Herr Strauß von uns möchte und dann auch gucken, was die Mission von Mary Beth für uns bereithält. Aber ja. Das war schon sehr heftig letztes Mal. Zumindest in meinen Augen. So, dann wieder raus aus der Großstadt. Vielleicht können wir auch irgendwas jagen, wenn wir zurück zum Camp kommen. The Moin Raider? Just minding my own business. Ja, einfach ein Lemoyne Raider, der hier rumsteht, aber ich will jetzt nichts anfangen mit denen. Oh, schaut euch das hier an. Schönes Wasser, Sonnenuntergang. So ist es richtig. Das erste Mal, dass wir von saint -Denis wieder zurückreiten. Ah, durch den Sumpf gefällt es mir wirklich nicht so sehr. Da war bis jetzt die Location in Valentine, also in den Heartlands. Schönsten. Hä? Moment mal. Toll, was ist das denn für ein blöder Weg? Jetzt muss ich hier durchs Wasser schwimmen. Ah, das gefällt mir ja gar nicht. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Oh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. No, an angler. Das klingt doch in Ordnung. 
Oh. Und sogar in der Nähe, wollte ich sagen, aber naja, Braithwaite Manor ist gleich da oben gewesen. Vielleicht müssen wir ein bisschen aufpassen. Ähm, ich finde das cool, dass es diese eine Kirche, die wir da letztens gesehen haben, die wir auch ins Notizbuch gekritzelt haben und das sieht man dann hier so auch auf der Karte und auch ähm, andere Stellen, wenn man irgendwelche Vögel sieht oder Hirsche oder Schweine, Kräuter, das wird alles hier auf der Karte dann nach und nach Eingezeichnet. Das finde ich ist ein sehr cooles Konzept. Na dann, auf zum Angler. Mal gucken, es wäre sehr lustig, wenn das dieser berühmte Angler gewesen ist, dem wir die, Legi dem wir die legendären Fische schicken sollten. Oh, hier ist noch ein Lagerfeuer. Ich wollte gerade... <lacht> da hat uns einfach ein Puma angefallen. Oh, schön. Das war gerade äußerst interessant. Ich wollte wissen, was das für ein Lager ist. Und dann das. Na gut, so viel dazu. Ist das noch da? Oh, Entschuldigung, Bolt. Jetzt ist es weg. Oh. Oh. How are you, boy? Interessant und spannend. Wirklich interessant. Ja, man muss immer halt auch ein Auge auf äh, die Umgebung und auf die Tiere haben. Ne? Wie hat Mad Eye Moody schon gesagt? Immer wachsam. Okay, immer wachsam. Dann klopfen wir mal an. Eintreten können wir die Tür nicht. Ich habe gerade diesen Wettstein gesehen und dachte mir, aha, da kann man sicher die Waffen schleifen wie in Witcher 3. Klopf, klopf. Geht alles nicht. Okay. Vielleicht in der Hütte? Premium Zigaretten. Ich glaube, wir sollten auch ein bisschen was schon mal wieder rauchen, damit wir zwei von zwölf Bildern. Meine Güte, wir haben echt noch nicht viel gefunden davon. Ja, auch abends. Vielleicht ist er jetzt irgendwo aktuell am Fischen. Ah, hier ist doch jemand. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. 
Every stinking cent is in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Mm -hmm. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. That's a mess up. Now where's them drinks, boy? Okay. Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Er nimmt das Messer. Oh. Das gibt's doch nicht. Hat er einfach zugestochen. Was essen. Hm. Davon haben wir schon alles. Premium Zigaretten, natürlich. Hat überhaupt nichts. Gin. Wahnsinn, das ist der ist komplett ausgebrannt. Doppelläufige Schrottflinte sollten wir im Auge behalten, dass die auch schön da oben bleibt. Sonst, da haben wir schon geguckt, da haben wir schon geguckt, da können wir nicht gucken. Paul, was hast du gemacht? Was hast du Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. Um, okay. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, ich hab auch gar keine Lust hier weiter jetzt zu suchen. Den haben wir ausgenockt. You think there's more here? That's it. Please go. Okay, okay. Na dann. Zurück zu Herrn Strauß. Hoch. Wo auch immer der gerade ist. Naja. Dann zahlen wir es im Camp ein. Ich würde gerne noch irgendwas... ...irgendwas jagen.
Am besten, wenn ich mich noch irgendwie an den Puma rächen könnte, der uns angefallen hat. Das wäre doch schön. Oder ein Wildschwein. Dann nehme ich aber das Bolt-Gewehr, das hat... Uh! Tutan. Das ist doch mal was. Da freut sich Pearson bestimmt. So. Erstmal hier anbringen. Aber auf der anderen Seite hätten wir dann Platz für noch einen. Fast ein bisschen zu leicht. Aber Truthahn haben wir, glaube ich, noch nie mitgebracht. Von dem her gibt es mal ein bisschen was anderes für die Männer und die Ladies. Hey, Karen! Arthur, you dumbass! Welcome back, Arthur! <lacht> Oh, wir haben sogar hier unsere eigenen Wildschweine. Und natürlich unsere eigenen Hühnchen. Also Pferde zurückholen. Oh, Reverend. Pearson ist gar nicht da, ne? Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Alright, let's see what we got. Ach ja, und die Raben haben wir auch noch. Hey, Moment mal, das war gerade noch weiß da oben. Jetzt haben wir was gespendet und das ist gelb geworden. Oder oh, das gelb. Das Beste, was man haben kann. Hm. Thank you, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Ja, sieht aber gut aus, der Wagen. So, und unsere Geldkasse. Ja, natürlich. Natürlich haben sich Dutch und alle hier im Haus breit gemacht. Ah, schick. Und die Dynamitkisten haben sie auch weggebracht. Ah, und unser Zimmer ist auch sogar hier oben. Das ist doch schön. So, dann weg damit. 24,50 waren das nur. Ich werde mal noch schnell schauen, dass wir Schmuck und ähnliches ablegen. Sehr gut. Abigail. Es wird be okay. We'll find him. We'll go find him then. Just try to stay calm. Ah, stimmt. Ich will gar nicht wissen, wie die sich aktuell fühlt. Okay. Na dann. Hier ist auch alles ein bisschen trostlos aktuell. Sprechen wir mal mit Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. 
If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we oh. heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Fuck, Miss Grimshaw. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. Well, what do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Okay, oh. I think that's the place up ahead. Hey, das ist abgefahren, stimmt. In Valentine wurde sie ja bedroht von diesem einen Typen, den wir einfach sehr schnell verscheucht haben. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Oh Mist. Wir haben unsere Gewehre nicht mitgenommen. Ähm... In dem Spiel muss man wirklich auf alles achten. Dass das jetzt solche Konsequenzen hat, hätte ich jetzt nicht erwartet. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Shit! What the hell are you doing? No. Hey! Tilly. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... No, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that <sighs> bastard. <sighs> the one in front of the ball. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with them yet. Okay. All right. Get after them. Einen davon am Leben. Oh, Miss Grimshaw. Hey, ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, look at these cowards. They're heading down the hill to the water. You crazy old hag! Oh, there they are by the shoreline. You got it. Let's 
Schön festhalten mit Scrimshaw. Die ist echt ein Drache. Ja, wenn das Pferd ein bisschen schneller machen würde, dann wäre das doch kein Problem. Ah, tut mir leid. Oh! Ich dachte, das Pferd wird dann wenigstens ein bisschen humpeln oder ähnliches. Aber so ein Schuss scheint das Pferd nicht zu interessieren. Ah, perfekt. Sehr gut. Wir haben ein Dalmatina-Pferd. So he's still alive then? Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's oh. mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Hmm. Tilly hat gesagt, wir sollen ihn Finish the bastard off. Verschonen. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Hmm. Mann, Mann, Mann. Das 
bisschen Geld. Ein Haartonikum, wofür ist das gut? Ja, ein Münzbeutel. Brieftasche, Schmuck, perfekt. Ein bisschen Kohle für uns. Ja, das war schon... Also wie gesagt, man muss hier wirklich auf die ganzen Kleinigkeiten achten. Und die Geschichten sind einfach richtig gut. Also es gefällt mir, dass die Storypunkte immer wieder aufgegriffen werden und auch zu Ende geführt werden. Jetzt sind wir wieder so weit weg von unserem Lager. Hm. Aber aktuell ist auch nichts weiter los. Das heißt, gegebenenfalls könnten wir einfach zurück nach Saint-Denis reisen und uns mit Dutch treffen. Ja. Und wir haben ein neues Pferd. Gute Telly. What happened, man? My horse threw me and I landed on my foot and I heard a snap. My legs all numb. My leg it hurt so bad. Hands up. Now. Nette Masche, nette Masche. Gefährlich. Uh, silbernes Kettenarmband. Das haben wir auch noch nie gelootet. Du hast eine Zutat für einen Talisman erhalten. Oho. Ach stimmt, da, deswegen haben wir... Beziehungsweise sollten wir ja eigentlich die legendären Tiere jagen. Oh Gott, Zeugen. Ermittlungen. Ja, toll, ne? Die sehen das natürlich. Ah, Zeugemord. Die sehen das natürlich anders, wenn da plötzlich Tote am Straßenrand liegen, obwohl die ja angefangen haben. Was bist du für ein Pferd? Ach, du bist... Ein Zeuge, der den Täter nicht gesehen hat, wird dunkelrot markiert. Er meldet die Indizien beim Gesetzeshüter. Ja, ja, ja. Naja, aber wir waren ja definitiv im Recht an der Stelle. Müsste nur Bolt wieder. Ich reite gerade auf ganz vielen anderen Pferden. Das fühlt sich auch irgendwie falsch an. Kann ich pfeifen, sodass das Bolt eigentlich zu uns kommt? Nein, das ist außer Reichweite. Ach ja, gut, dann werde ich erstmal mit dem Pferd ein bisschen umherreiten. Ja. Und hoffen wir einfach mal, dass wir jetzt gleich bei der Mission mit Dutch... Äh, nicht unser Pferd brauchen, beziehungsweise dass hoffentlich Bolt dann einfach bei uns gespawnt wird. Weil das aktuelle Pferd ist äh, 
Ja, nicht gerade das Beste, merke ich. Es ist langsam, es hat nicht viel Ausdauer, es bockt viel. Ah. Bist du Dutch? Ah, oh, John. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh, uh. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Good Dutch. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. 
<laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Uh, Salute. No. Plötzlich Nacht, aber da ist Bolt. Wie gehofft. Hopp. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Oh, John hat auch ein tolles Pferd. You know where the is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Mm. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Das hoffe ich auch. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Gruselig. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. And keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Fuck. Vorne ist schon einer weggerannt. expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Was hatte der denn für? Ist er aus wie... I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. Shush. Hey there, boy. Come on, let's keep on him. Das warst nur du. Okay. Irgendeiner ist hier am Rumröpsen. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Es ist cool, mit John so unterwegs okay, zu sein. Ali, you watch behind me. Wait. Shush. Quiet. Shush. Stop. Wait a second. Hold on. 
So krass aus immer. Dollar. Definitiv. Ein Hut sein, jawohl. Machen wir John, aber die haben auch wirklich viel Geld dabei. Ich weiß, John, ich weiß. Ja, hier gibt es viel Krimskrams, aber was erwartest du dir zu holen? Think there might be something in here. Oh nein. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Mhm. Mm John, 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 die kommen von da drüben.
going straight, all right? Wie sieht's aus? Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Oh. Hat funktioniert. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. All right. Let's get this done. Yeah. Come on, Arthur. Rest up, boy. Ich habe so ein ganz schlechtes Gefühl bei der Sache. Die Lichteffekte sind so schön. What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Well, You took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Good. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just on, simple sir. country boys. Sehr schön. Let's go. Kleines Happy End. Set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with them. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. <laughs> das ist schön, dieses kleine Happy End. Muss auch mal sein. Ich 
Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack! 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 How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah. So? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Mm. Ach, ordentlich. Ordentlich Kohle bekommen. Scheint, das wäre die Gruppe wieder richtig gut drauf. Es wird eine Party geben. Sehr schön. Die Folge geht schon sehr lange. Ich würde die auch jetzt beenden, aber ich werde mich jetzt noch ein bisschen dazusetzen und das Ganze genießen. Mehr wird wahrscheinlich jetzt dann auch nichts mehr passieren. Von dem her, wenn ihr nichts mehr sehen wollt, dann könnt ihr jetzt natürlich die Folge beenden, aber ich werde es jetzt noch ein bisschen genießen. <lacht> Sehr cool. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Mega gut. Happy Miss Crimson. Very well done, Arthur. Let's have some fun. I'm very happy. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Lenny, super. I'm here to play good, don't I? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. Da hat er recht. Tahiti. If you say so. Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Tell us again. Sure. 
So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, the, he shot the rope clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <laughs> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, home boys, home. It's where I want to be. Home boys, home. With the girl on either knee. Nobody ever got sick. There ain't no being Had an accordionated look. Let him find the Ain't no being lost. He climbed a hill. He rumbled me. He choked me. He screwed me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath. I got no sleep at all. No he up me and he down me and Ain't he caught me out. Yeah, and they fucked me black and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was a thing. In, goes <laughs> and early in the was born, morning, before the break of day, in between, he handed you me a ten pound note. Do what you do, Uncle. Ain't no good. Ain't no bad. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Not everyone. You okay, Reverend? I am just partaking in a little doze. That's what you call it. You all right there, Mary Beth? Yeah, I'm just watching it all. Go on, have another drink. It's a party after all. Yeah, machen wir auch noch mal einen Drink. Oh, stimmt, was Kieran eigentlich? Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. Kieran is okay. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, it was good talking to you. On board the Hartland stage, pulling all about the sheets. Bed bugs knew about the sheets. They started as a fairy line in 1849. In all opposition, they defied the people must be hog or die. Get some rest. Get some rest. Get some rest. What do I have to be talking to you like, like that? A lady, well bred, not so much trouble off the street. You can take off in a sanctimonious jail. I'm a lady. Oh, yes, I can see. Very lady. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. When they feel inclined, we'll have you watching all the on your shoulders I'm sure you do. Cold, you see everything cold. differently. They promise when you're pair you take. Don't have to walk only halfway. They have to sad with a cunning glass. Oh, Molly gets gar nicht gut. Dutch. In 1840. Willst du da nichts machen?
<laughs> there he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. He smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Oh, hello. Howdy. See? See? What I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan, my friends, my loved ones. A plan it is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. Das Gewitter ist kein gutes Zeichen. Okay, aber falls ihr noch dem ganzen Jahr auch noch ein bisschen zugeschaut habt, dann vielen Dank und dann werde ich die Folge jetzt hier dann beenden. Und dann machen wir in der nächsten Folge weiter. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis dann, Leute. Macht's gut. Und ciao.